Hi, Amber. Hi. Welcome to your Reiki session today. Is this your first ever Reiki session? It is, yes. Okay, amazing. So um, I'm just going to be sensing the energy, doing a few um, different techniques using some gemstones, some sweeping, some um, nice salt and um, vibratory tools to just clear out the aura and hopefully have you feeling a little bit lighter and um, more ready to face the day, okay? So if you have any questions, stop me along the way. Um, but otherwise, I'm just gonna begin the sense. And you can just keep the eyes closed and try and just let me into the energy. So I'm already feeling the aura is pulsating, a little bit of stress and anxiety. Feels a little bit unsure, as if it's going through a change. Not sure if you've been experiencing a change lately, maybe in your personal life or work or just in how you've been feeling. Sensing here. just a little bit of um, lack of enthusiasm it's, and it's not slow energy it's just a little bit lost so let's just try and get it cycling a little more freely a little bit more naturally maybe take some of that pressure off you Ground the body, starting with the head chakra, and third eye. Okay. Gentle sweeping just to pluck off the easy to grab things. Rolling the energy to a little spiral, picking off the strands. And think of your energy like threads. We can roll them together and pull them. We can untangle them or sweep them away. I'm going to just put on some beads here. I've got turquoise and white quartz. as well as some lapis. And we just enhance my energy as we start to gently sweep with a feather. I often like to start with the feather just because it's a nice reset. Gentle, eases you into the more intense work that we'll have to do. right here on this left shoulder, just something stuck. It's just a little higher than the heart chakra, I'm thinking perhaps something in that change is a change of heart. Could be how you feel about a person or passion. 
something you thought for a long time, you've recently started feeling less sure about. across the eyes gently. a bit of obsidian right here. Pair it up with an amethyst. Using unpolished versions of the stones. Just find that their natural energies are more aligned when you're feeling a little bit unsure and a little bit unmotivated. Sometimes when we polish the stones, we remove some of the things that make them beautiful. Obsidian, I think, is very misunderstood. A lot of people see it is dark and slick, but it's a very calming stone, a very centering stone. I'm just going to keep checking in after each technique and tool, see where the energy has fallen, where those strands have tangled. So over this heart chakra, still feeling that lack of clarity, confidence, we need to be able to trust our instincts and change is a good thing. It's not a bad thing and something that you might have once either loved or felt sure about. It's natural to possibly go another way and it could also be the opposite, something you weren't sure about starting to firm up, but there's definitely a lot of change happening. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of colorful fluorite and tiger's eye. The fluorite, it is focus, protection, healing. The tiger's eye is confidence, courage. Open up the right hand, clasp the tiger's eye, the left hand, the fluorite, and just relax.
and to plucking up some of these strands. specific spots with my gem ones. Go ahead and release those for me. Okay, so I'm just going to be working primarily with the head chakra around the third eye and we're just trying to sync up that heart and mind. Pulling the strands here and connecting them. Even though Reiki is a practice that can't be seen on the surface, Still a very physical experience. We're working on mental, emotional problems, but our body and mind are intrinsically connected. several times. checking in and the energy is starting to connect 
starting to feel a through cord all the way from the head down into the body. I'm going to hold a couple of acupressure points. Just try and get the body sinking with the mind. How are you doing so far, Amber? It's going to be a pretty intense experience. So you'll feel me hold a few places here. too intense. Working my way up the meridians. And our meridian points just connect all of the acupressure points in the body. So stimulating them stimulates the entire body and mind. Across the back. Better. I feel a sense of calm to so the energy, a little bit more confidence. It's flowing more distinction in the same direction. I'm going to squeeze the shoulders and stimulate some of those pressure points a little harder. It's not so much massage as it is pressure point stimulation. Get my sensing stone out here. First grounding it on the head chakra and moving it around the body, looking for any pockets of energy, spikes. It's actually looking pretty calm there over the heart chakra now. That's good. And just a little back and forth movement over that third eye. So let's take a look at that. So I've got some rose quartz. I'm going to have you just tilt your head back slightly for me. Thank you. I'm 
And the rose quartz is very loving, calming, guiding energy. I like to think of it as the mother of stones. Come back to center and don't move. I'm going to leave the stone there. Doing a bit of sound work now. Combination of the pressure of the rose quartz sitting on the crown chakra. The slight vibration is very powerful. Always connecting it back to my energy. Moving the rose quartz, resensing, first grounding. A little better, just a little bit of movement there. Just for good measure, let's do some gold stone. Gold stone is very motivating, focusing, enhancing. Connecting it again with my gem wands. Almost like a pen to ink. Bracelets now, as the majority of the energy work has been completed. I'm going back to my own hands here. Let's just brush off the last few strands.
So let's go back to that spot here with the beginning that we were experiencing. So it's not perfect. I think whatever sort of decision you've been teetering between or trying not to think about perhaps um, has come to the surface a little bit more, but I don't think it's something you've solved even in this session. You're going to have to keep focusing on that. Try not to push it down again because it's causing blockages when you do that. Final grounding. Using my hands and gravity to literally push you towards the earth. Connect you with the world that we're in. Connection of the corporal body is just as important as connection of the spirit. Using a bit of energizing Jane to bring you back into the world. I want you to slowly open your eyes. Okay. I want you to look at the Jane and just follow it up, down. Keep watching as it moves slightly further away, engaging the mind to slowly look at the outside world. Amber, how are you feeling now? Great. So Feel much good. lighter and at peace. Okay, good. Um, so, you know, what I noticed there, that sort of disconnect, um, I wouldn't worry too actively about it, but when it comes up in your mind, mm -hmm. as it inevitably will, try focusing on it for a moment. See okay. how you feel, okay? Okay. Have a great rest of your day, and just come back in if you ever need any more guidance. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>